he's even been called by Gordon just a hidden talent. Somebody who could go to the 77 kilogram division and take it by force. Well, much has been made of Nicky Ryan's potential. I feel like we've been talking about that for years. And he's had a couple setbacks and knee injuries and things that have kind of derailed that. And he's hoping to put that all behind him here with the great show. But let's see. Hanato Canuto is definitely a huge, huge task at hand. And I, I'm looking forward to this one. Here we see some hand fighting early. If Nicky pulling on the head, looking at some level changes, Hanato firing right back. Nicky looks so big, too. I know he's uh, not tall for the division, but looks very, like, a thick today. Like, he looks like a very thick competitor for, competitor for this division. Yeah, all the B-team guys have definitely put in time in the weight room. He's ADCC. pressing forward as well. He is, he is. An a yeah, it does. ADCC is just known for being a physical, grinding, demanding event. And so these guys have put in that extra homework, that extra credit. Big snap down from Nicky Ryan. In the corner of Nicky, Isaac, Michelle. The wrestling at B team has improved exponentially. And Isaac, Michelle, one of the reasons that they've improved so much. Oh, oh big turn on the back side. Sorry, sorry, thank you. Oh, we're great, sir. Referee asked us, are we okay? We're, we're good, great. we're good. My suit has looked better, my jacket, but that'll be okay. That is okay. My Monster Energy did not spill. Shout out to Monster Energy. Let's see what this reset looks like here. We have Nikki trying to climb up the back here for Nato Canuto. Great takedown sequence by Nikki Ryan. And this is not where Hanato Kinto wanted to find himself early in this match. Nikki, a great use of the body lock, uses it for passing, uses it for control. And of course, looking to set up some back takes potentially. Slowly inching his left knee over the leg of Hanato now switching around to the other side. I suppose now is a better time than, you know, here in the next two minutes and 30 seconds, though, to find himself in this position for Hanato Canuto. Because Hanato, as we said before the match, very known for his dynamic, if you let him get going, if you let the snowball start, it's hard to get back, and there it is. So. Great recovery by Hanato. Now it's going to be up to him to mitigate that sort of a position happening to him again. Yeah, and that's a small victory for Hanato, getting out of danger, resetting on the feet. Oh. Oh. I think Hanato is saying you're a little slippery, but perhaps it's hair gel. I don't. Maybe Nikki shaved his arms. I don't know if you've ever grappled with somebody that shaves their arms and legs. It makes a massive difference. It's actually scary. <laughs> yeah. It's also good for photos, Chase. Yeah. Back to the action. Gl glistening. <laughs> and as we've mentioned before, the action doesn't stop until the referee says. Now we've got a combined match here for Mika Galvao and Taza. Officially looks like a training room here. We have some visitors on our mat, but our referee doing a great job putting himself in between the athletes, making sure they don't crash into each other. A lot of fakes, a lot of like pump fakes out of Nicky Ryan this match. As we approach one minute until points go into effect. Getting a little chippy out there. Hanato's getting warned. Nikki just pacing. He wants to get right back into it. He's not phased at all by that.
But Hanata seems to be a little more comfortable on the feet right now. I feel like he, he saw that early look from Nikki that got him to the ground, but now he's matching the, the pacing a little bit better than we saw earlier. Hanato hasn't really attempted a lot of takedowns as of yet in this match. Thirty seconds left until points become a factor, and I wonder if that may be playing it. But I don't think so. They're fighting so hard. I don't think they're caring about the clock at the moment. It's not a big concern. We've got Leo Vieira there in the corner of Renato Canuto, legendary fighter here at ADCC. Hear the referee calling for points. They are now in effect. Hanata now pushing Nikki around the mat. Hanato not really breathing hard. Nikki looking a little bit fatigued here. Certainly would seem that the bigger your muscles are, the more oxygen is required to power those muscles. But we did also see him in those training rooms. Flow grappling going down to B team, taking some video of the training room there. Seeing some epic rounds between Jay Rodriguez and Nikki Ryan. Oh, big shot from Renato Canuto now. But a good sprawl from Nicky Ryan. Yeah, Hanato looking fresh. Pulling down on the head of Nicky. These micro battles of head positioning, level changes, and Hanato starting to turn that pacing around just a little bit. Little over three minutes left on the clock. Another warning for Nikki Ryan. Panato seems to be picking up the pace the longer this match goes on. And Nikki ducking down for a shot, unsuccessful. Hanato ja jabbing his hand into the throat of Nikki Ryan. And here they come again, looking to join us at the broadcast booth. Hanato ramping at the pressure. Nikki getting moved around the mat a little bit. Oh, big, oh, big, big shot, shot. Hanato. He's holding on that leg. Nikki, though, firing right back there. Yeah, the match goes down to the mat for just a brief second, and they're back up to their feet. And Nikki's team is calling for him to push forward in his corner. They don't like the momentum change here for Hanato. Minute 45 left here. And Otto pushing on the shoulders, framing on the head. One minute, 30 seconds left. So far, it has been a basically even battle. There was that moment early on in the match where Nicky Ryan got a successful takedown, was looking on potentially 
even taking the back pass in the guard of Hanato Canuto. But since then, it's been oh. the pressure of Hanato Canuto. And both athletes dangerously close to a penalty scenario of just one minute left. Nikki Ryan warned there, it looked like. One minute left, and I think Nikki's hoping to get to overtime on this one here. I think that strategy would bode well. If he can collect himself and try to gather his energy up for that final five minute overtime period. Because so far, it only looks like Hanato Canuto has been able to keep the same pace the entire time. Another shot from Hanato. Oh, and he gets the match to the ground, potentially picking up the ankles of Nikki Ryan. Oh, Nikki trying to get a turtle position, doing everything he can. And he is able to get there. Will what? he be able to Two put the hook in here? Two hooks look like they're in. Two points on the board for Hanato. Two points are on the board. That's for the takedown. Three for the back take. Hanato's going to win this five to nothing with five seconds left. That's it. Looking for the tap, could he get it? And at the very end of the match, trying to lock in the choke, but Hanato Canuto is victorious over Nikki Ryan. He'll be moving on to the next round. Great work from Hanato Canuto. You can see him turning up the heat, keeping the pace high throughout the match, and Nikki Ryan just started to fade a little bit, a little bit more. And Hanato kept shooting and shooting until they got where he wanted. Amazing work from Hanato Canuto.